Hello friends, uh, welcome to freepost.com and this is my new project gas booking system and uh, this project I have developed in PHP and MySQL and the version which I am using is the PHP version 7 and the MySQL version 5.6 and for running the project I am using the XAMPP server you can run this project on your XAMPP server, WAMP server or in, on your Linux environment Mac system also on the Windows 10 7 okay but if you have the XAMPP server or the WAMP server, then you can easily configure this project. And this project is com uh, compatible with the PHP 7. So I have used the PHP MySQL I. So that's why you can run this project easily on the PHP latest version. I am not using the MySQL, only the MySQL driver. I am using the MySQL I driver. Okay, so for front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, some of the jQuery library for giving some good effect just like i am running the banner on the home page so this is the uh, jquery library also i am using jquery validations for validating the forms and uh, also for creating the drop downs so let's start with the gas booking system functionality so this is the home page also just i want to uh, tell you that this is a mini project and uh, I have in this project there is only a single role that is the admin okay there is no customer means customer will not be able to book the gas by themselves customer uh, will be able to call the admin and admin will be able to book the gas for customer so this functionality is available in this project so this is the mini project and a single user role basis project right so let's start with the project functionality so this is the home page and the content of this project you can change directly from the html code this is the about us page so this is also a, a static content this is the login page and the data and the credentials are validating from the database directly and this is the contact us page so once i click on the login page so it will ask for the user id and date now passwords and if i enter the wrong credentials then it will tell you invalid user id and password and once you click on submit one more thing if you enter like this then it will ask for please fill in this field so this is the jquery validation so i am entering the correct credentials so i am inside the admin dashboard so this is the admin dashboard one more thing i want to explain you you can see the menu option above so this menu is totally session based and if i log out from the system then this menu will go on okay and if i log in again then this will, menu will come so if the session is registered then this menu will come else it will not be displayed okay so if i log out from the system then you can see there is four menu options available right and if i click on the login and after login you will be able to see all of the menu options <coughs> so this is the dashboard and all the option which is available here you can jump on that section from this section also this is the report section this is the my account and the change password <coughs> so let's start with the so this is the, again the home page this is about us and this is the dashboard and again this is the add customer so this is the add customer from which uh, admin can add any number of customers so this is also validated form so you can't enter uh, save the data without entering all of the fields so one more thing i want to explain the values of all these drop downs are the dynamic and these values are coming directly from the database right and just like a city so if you want to add more cities if you want to more uh, id types then you can uh, just enter into the database and that uh, will be displayed here as also the state options then you can add any number of customers from the sections the second is the add booking so this is for the booking so you can choose the customer from here and the booking amount and this is the booking date and delivery date what will be the expected delivered delivery date then you will be able to save the booking details of the customers of the gas from uh, this form and there is two things there is a booking date and the booking delivery date right again this is the add connection so if any customer comes then and he applies for the new connection then you will be able to add new connection from here so before adding the connection you need to add the customer first and after adding the customer that customer will be displayed in this drop down right and after that the branch so what branch the customer want to register and the connection date so you can see this is the jquery drop and jquery uh, date plugin number of cylinders connection card estrogen and description so 
admin can add the connections from this form and after that the add branch so you admin can add the number of branch from here right so this is the all of the add forms again the, this is the report section this is the customer report section the all the customers are displaying here if you want to search the customer then just enter the name and it will show you that customer so this is totally dynamic and the runtime you can see how fast it is working right suppose if i entering anything then uh, that is displaying here also currently you are able to show the, see the 10 entries but if it's more than 10 entries currently it's a 5 then the pagination will be increased and there will be two pages <laughs> right and also you can sort the data from here okay so this is the table and also if you want to edit the customer then just click on the edit and click on the submit that customer details will be saved if you want to delete the customer then just click on the delete and that customer will be deleted permanently from the database so this is the customer report section also the customer listing oh this is a little bit good ui so you can see the number of customers with the details that okay and if you want to see the details then click click on the view details then the customer will be then the admin will be able to see the details of the full customer and then view connection then customer admin will be able to see the details connection details of the customer right and this is the view bookings and that admin will be able to see the all of the bookings that of that customer so this is the customer listing forms from where admin can perform these operations these all are interlinked from that customer right and this is the customer listing at after add booking report so these all are the booking report if you want to edit it and submit it then you can see the details if you want to delete the record then you can delete the record and you can perform all the search sorting pagination operations on this report this is the connection report so all the connection will be displayed here again you can edit and delete the record and you can perform each and every operation just like a search delete and the paginations this is the branch report so this is all about the branch and all the branches will be listed here if you want to delete the branch then you can delete the branch and if you want to edit the branch then you can edit the branch also then you can see the branch has been edited and if you can sort you can search so if you are uh, want to see all of the branch of the madhya pradesh then you can see the branch of the madhya pradesh from here right if you want to delete it then you can delete it also and after that all the branch will be displayed um, now there are three branches again this is the my account section from where admin will be able to update his account details and uh, again so once i click on the submit so and this is the change password so this is the change password from where admin will be able to change his password details and after that the logout so once it's logout all the session will be destroyed so this is all about the gas booking system i am not saying this is a very big project this is a very small project that's why it's a mini project and i have developed this in php and mysql and it's running on the apache 2 server you can configure easily on the web server as well as stamp server and on your linux windows and the mac system so this is all about of my project and don't forget to subscribe our channel freeproject.com for getting the latest video updates on your email id and good functionality projects so thanks for watching the video thank you very much